holding landlords accountable. Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan announcing today a new program that would get all rental properties code compliant within two years. Jason Colthorpe following the story for us. And Jason, how many properties are we talking about here? We're talking about, uh, you know, on paper, the city would tell you 40,000, Sandra, uh, 50,000 if you ask the mayor. But the truth is they really don't know because uh, so many are not playing by the rules. Could be as high as 70 to 90,000. But they expect to root out the true number because tenants and uh, neighbors of properties like this, they expect to call so they can stop giving landlords of properties like this a bad rap. If you do not have a certificate of compliance, you are not legally entitled to collect rent. And it's that financial motivation for landlords that makes the city believe a two-year plan to get all rental properties into compliance will work. It should also root out the scammers who are charging rent on homes they've lost to foreclosure. We have people who are collecting the rent check every month and not paying their property taxes. They have no intention of hanging out of the house. Inspectors will take the city's five zones one at a time after a six month grace period for each homeowner to get compliant. Vigorous enforcement will begin. Landlords who do play by the rules are of course on board because enforcement boosts their property values. One of our largest uh, problems are homes on the same street as our homes that are not being maintained. So we certainly welcome this legislation. The city is also keeping it totally transparent with a website anyone can go to to check on a property. A landlord can go on to register their property, but a tenant can go on and register a complaint if their property isn't being kept up or a neighbor can go on and say, there's a rental property on my block that isn't properly registered. And if that's the case, again, tenants do not have to pay rent because landlords are legally not allowed to collect it if that's the case. Tuesday, City Council will introduce the ordinance that will get this ball rolling and this program will get underway. Reporting live, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4.